glycolysis, which begins the breakdown of glucose, is a series of 10 enzyme-catalyzed reactions that form the first step of cellular respiration. In this video, carbon will be represented with the red and phosphate with yellow. Two ATP units kickstart glycolysis by each donating a phosphate to the 6-carbon chain of glucose. ATP becomes ADP. The glucose with attached phosphates divide into two separate parts. These are both glyceraldehyde phosphates. These three carbon glyceraldehyde phosphate molecules bring us to the next phase of energy payoff. Chemical bonds are broken and NAD plus picks up electrons and hydrogen ions forming NADH. This energy release allows a phosphate to join each of our three carbon glyceraldehyde phosphates. Two ADPs come in to take away phosphate. Because ADP receives another phosphate, it turns into ATP. This process of making ATP is called substrate level phosphorylation. Water, or H2O, is represented by the orange gummies, allows the molecules to be rearranged. The phosphates move from the end of the carbon chain to the middle. In the last reaction, two ADPs take away this newly arranged phosphate, once again creating two units of ATP. Our final product is two pyruvates, which contain three carbons and no phosphates. All in all, glycolysis spent 2 ATP during kickstart and generated 4 ATP. For a net ATP of 2, it also formed 2 NADH molecules.